Okay, I'd like to uh, give everyone an update on what Genworth is doing on technology and service. So the first topic is we launched this year a new service called Check Image Deposit. And what that is is it's Check 21 that allows um, an agent who submits initial premium cash with app on a life policy or on COD to be able to scan, the BGA can scan that image and send it to us electronically and they do not have to mail in the check. So the process is quite simple. Once the BGA signs up, and I'll explain to you how to do that in a moment, uh, check comes in, you scan both sides of the check, and then you write on the back of the check that you scanned it, uh, that it was sent in electronically and store it for about 90 days and then you can destroy it. Now, the way that the image gets to Genworth is you must be an imaging customer. That means today, if you're connected into our imaging workflow, maybe through Paperclip system or Exam 1 or other third-party system, then it will work. Okay? And what will happen is that after the image is sent to Genworth, the, by the next morning, you'll get an email acknowledging that it was uh, received and processed successfully. And if there's anything wrong with it, or you have to resend it, or there's some other exception, you'll be notified immediately on what actions to take. Now, to sign up for check image deposit, there is a, a form that you need to sign. There's no cost. There is an eligibility requirement. All I ask you to do is to please just write down this email address, imagingclientsupport at genworth.com. So if you're a BGA, you can uh, then they'll send you all the necessary information to sign up for check image deposit. Again, imaging client support, all one word, at genwork.com. Okay, moving on. Another thing that we launched this year was Life ePolicy Delivery. So we had done a pilot last year on ePolicy, and we basically had seven large BGAs participate in this pilot, and what we found out is that uh, we were able to see extreme cycle time improvements. I could tell you today, and from an industry perspective, when you deliver a policy the traditional way, collecting delivery requirements, collecting money on delivery, it can average anywhere from 20 to 25 days, in some circumstances, even longer. And what we did in our study and in our pilot, we had it down to eight and a half days on average, and in some cases, we were able to get it done in one day. Other benefits of e-policy delivery is you don't have to pay for transportation or postage. You don't have to chase down delivery requirements. Uh, also, there, in, in, our, in our implementation, there are sales and marketing capabilities. One of the biggest objections you hear about e-policy is, hey, Mr. Agent, when you go to deliver a policy, that's when they have upsell, cross-sell, or referral opportunity. Well, there, we have sales and marketing capability into our process. So those are the key takeaways from our e-policy delivery. Flex, we have a flexible routing and workflow. That means that uh, a BGA can approve it, and if everything's okay, they can then send it down to the agent. Agent gets notified, they can approve it, and then they, a notification goes to the client. Uh, if there's a problem or it needs to be sent back for reissue, the reissue process is significantly is improved, faster time on that. Um, as well as uh, the experience for the client on e-signing uh, all the delivery requirements, it's just click the sign, as well as the, um, the ability to do e-payment, EFT or credit card where it's accepted on products or state specific. And the last thing I mention is something unique that we're doing is the fact that when you get your pending status feeds to your AMS, we delineate whether the policy was sent electronically or it was uh, the traditional way that it was sent, so you have a status on how the policy was delivered. Besides, we give you a st uh, updates on status through every step of the process. Uh, last item is that on our life quick request, whether you use iPipeline, uh, iGo using our IL life quick request, the internet iPipeline uh, life quick request, or our standard platform, there is an opt-in opportunity. Um, opt-in means that you capture the client's email address, and at that point, that case can participate. We also have flexible opt-ins. It can be done at the agent level, the BGA level, which is basically an opt-out, meaning every policy that qualifies, send it through. But we do make an end-to-end -end solution from submission to commission. <laughs> OK. Uh, the next thing that I want to cover is Total Living Care, our link benefit product. We put that on our Life Quick Request platform. 
uh, in February. And that allows you to run an integrated illustration on our Link Benefit product, complete a ticket, then it gets sent to the fulfillment center, and our fulfillment center will get every signature through voice signature. Every form and supplemental form will be voice signed. Any exam or anything that needs to be scheduled would be scheduled at that time. And here's the key thing when you say, wow, that's a lot of information you have to read over the phone. That must be a really long interview. We have been able to uh, prepare a process that, that has passed compliance where we do a secure email to the client of all of the documents. They just validate the forms and the interview is still less than 30 minutes just like you would do a life interview where maybe you weren't getting voice signature. Uh, we were able to streamline that process and get that to work so no signatures have to be collected. And another piece of technology that we've rolled out this year is um, last year we came, we, in long-term care, we have a cost of care app that you can go to the um, Apple Store, App Store for uh, iOS from Apple, and you can put that on your iPhone or iPad. Well, here we have an app. If, uh, who here has an iPad or an iPad mini? If you're connected to the internet, type in right now genworth.com forward slash TLC mobile. It'll, you'll get right to the app, and then you'll get prompted to save it on your home screen, on your iPad. And uh, it's a very slick app, be able to calculate the costs associated with when, when working with a client. And it's something you can share with your producers out in the field. It's very slick. Doesn't work on an iPhone. It's really designed for an iPad. So that's why I specifically said iPad or iPad mini. And it's genworth.com forward slash TLC mobile. That's speed the market. That's another fancy word for speed the market, which means that anyone else who wants to be developing ticket platforms, okay, by using an industry standard ticket, it makes their cost and their time, or as you go to uh, add more products to the platform, makes it an easier and cheaper and faster implementation. Um, carrier and product shopping, that's huge because I believe that if, if I'm using uh, LifePipe, okay, at iPipeline, and I'm, and I'm an agent, and I'm running a multi-carrier quote, and my next step is I want to now go into to do a ticket, I'll have more of a comfort zone knowing that um, it's just an easier transition. I already know what the questions are. I've already walked through this process before. And regardless of which carrier I select and which product I select, my experience on the front end will be the same. And that will grow more adoption and get more tickets submitted and get away from paper. Significantly reduce not in good order, which is what tickets do uh, uh, anyway. Faster cycle time. Um, of course, faster cycle time results in a higher placement ratio. And uh, agents free to do uh, more time selling. That's why at Genworth, we're a big believer of the ticket model. And, uh, and of course, you get paid your commissions faster if you have a faster cycle time. OK. This also opens up the opportunity to a fully integrated workflow process. And I think that also is another segue to the integrated experience that, um, that Paul was uh, referring to, uh, which is the fact that you can do things like a needs analysis tool. You could do a, a health underwriting assessment by using a tool like X-Ray. Again, you could use IGO and an iTicket by using an industry standard ticket as the capture. And then, of course, the secret sauce would be the integrated fulfillment process and ordering requirements right away. And we believe that that should be, that's a differentiator from, from Genworth and other carriers is the servicing aspect of this. But we need to get that ticket in the door. So by working on a platform like, um, like IGO and getting that ticket in using a standard ticket, we, we definitely see the numbers would definitely go up by doing it that way. Um, of course, then the end delivery, which I mentioned before, is e-policy delivery, and then getting your commissions paid. So fully integrated experience, and there are other items you can pull in. There can be pre-sales, trials, shopping, and other types of tools you could plug in as well, um, CRM, et cetera. But this, is, this also provides the opportunity to get away from paper, get more ticket adoption. You'll get more of these tools and, and be adding more value to your agents. And like I said, the Light Brokerage Technology Committee is spearheading this. 
The long-term care has already started this process. The Long-Term Care Insurance Business Technology Committee has all of the major carriers, including Genworth, participating in building out a long-term care standard ticket. So we definitely see that's the trend. And the last thing I want to mention is that uh, we, uh, last year, we're ranked number one and won the Dalbar Award for servicing technology. We're pretty proud of that. And we want to continue to improve and hear back from you to provide the better service and to continue to innovate. And please visit the Genworth booth when you get breaks and go to the exhibit and you can learn a lot more. Thank you.